Loading screen remakes previously gave some hints for remade maps, which we can perhaps account for with the giant from the Dice Summit in July of 2015, the moon loading screen remake, and others following as such. But recently they have served more as to bridge the gap with story info, or in some cases like today, bring up even more questions. The Call of Duty Zombies comic number 5 comes out as of tomorrow for physical and digital versions as well, but the end of comic loading screen ended up coming out, and it served perhaps to bring up more questions than really give answers in this newest one. So with a new version of the Die Rise loading screen from Black Ops 2 remade within this comic, let's dive a little bit into it, take a look at to see what we can derive from this and if there's anything of importance or really just talk about the questions in general. So firstly, the comic strip depicts four panels alone, others we've seen some more, some less, but this version doesn't offer as much clarity as the others. In the top left is our four characters arriving at the house from Revelations, which is interesting in and of itself and we'll get there in a second as to why. Below that is just an outward shot of the globe, the earth. Then we end up having on the right side page in the top panel, that being an overview shot of the house from Revelations. And then we have the exact mirror image shots of the die rise jump in teleportation, but reworked a little bit. Instead of them going from North America over to where die rise is, this instead depicts a little bit of an Eastern Europe slash Asia area and then jumping to the UK. And then in the background, we end up seeing what is behind in the top left cutout, that being the Nuketown loading screen. And then over on the right side page behind the cutout there is Last Comics loading screen in which we ended up seeing Rick Toffin shoot his ultimate self and then rewind and basically undo some events that had already happened. As if showcasing the effects of what would happen if 935 and everything that we knew of in Zombies didn't ever take place, kind of reverse that butterfly effect in a sense if you will so now that we have everything established here let's break this down a little bit because there's a lot to talk about the top left is perhaps one of the biggest and most key portions of this loading screen because it's premise arriving at the house but what's different and really intriguing about this is Rick Toffin is not there yes he's there but it's the 1.0 version of Rick Toffin, the Ultimus version of Rick Toffin, and Primus Rick Toffin is withheld from this iteration of the loading screen, which could lead to two different theories, perhaps. One being that this is when Rick Toffin was off on his own. This is referenced in an Ascension Monty quote in which he says that we fought alongside Gersh for a while while Rick Toffin was absent. And I'm not saying that this is Gersh, but this just reinforces his absence in that point in time in which Rick Toffin is absent and gone from the storyline. Or, number two, this is a completely different reality. Another fracture per se, but a version in which, in the intro cutscene of the Giants, when the others urge 1.0 Richtofen not to open the teleporter, perhaps this universe is that fate, in which that Richtofen complies and takes the warning from the others, and thus, he doesn't allow Primus Richtofen to teleport into the Giant and the Black Ops 3 storyline as we know it, and it then ultimately leads Ultimus or the 1.0 Richtofen as the one that we know fighting alongside our crew. So it's just interesting to think about, but perhaps neither of those are right. Perhaps this has completely different storyline implications, but to me, I think those might be two of the forefront and leading theories here with this. But regardless, it's interesting that Primus Richtofen is absent from this group shot of the original four, and instead Ultimus or 1.0 Richtofen is there in his place. Now location-wise, this is where it also gets interesting as well, because we see the physical embodiments of the Earth two times out of four panels. And ultimately, this leads to the possibility that this is the worldly destination before Monty snatched it up for his air quote, perfect world. While this hits hard on the physical events and being on Earth in the panels, that being the shot of the Earth from space, as well as the physical teleportation from Eastern Europe and Asia, presumably Russia, Belarus, or Ukraine, from the likes of this map, which, side note, would make sense given the location of Grod Krovi, but geographically it's close, but not a perfect alignment, and take that location and then put it in the UK, it's clear that this is a denotation of this being on the Earth, and it also plays in nicely with where the game code said that the house was located, that being in Sheffield, England. So from perhaps, say, theoretically Garage Crovey to Sheffield, England, this makes a little bit of sense. But also, this then brings up the next question of timing, because if this is on Earth, we know that when we play in the events of Revelations, it's in Agartha, the Aether. And that's something that we don't see just right on Earth. Now, when you put those two things together, one being in Agartha, one being on Earth, 
It brings in a question, when did this happen? No doubt, with the other questions that this loading screen raises, this is a valid one as well. With the physical location being presented and confirmed from the game code as well, that the house is in Sheffield, England, this would perhaps indicate that this arrival is before, once again, Monty ends up pulling the house into his air quote, perfect world. This then brings up perhaps the idea that this is an event preceding that of Revelations. Once again, Revelation is taking place in a Garth of the Aether. It's not a plane of existence as simple as that of a simple location in the UK. So while Monty likes to pick and choose his things, maybe this panel is before any of that even happened, which brings into question, why did it happen as such? We only ever see them come into the house via teleporter in the basement, we never end up seeing any indication of them outside. So when did this happen? Why did this happen? And what does this mean? Perhaps it's a different reality. Perhaps it's beforehand. We have no real answers. And that's the thing that kind of bothers me about this loading screen that we're given with the newest comic, because there's more questions presented than answers given. So with that said, that's what we're going to wrap it up. I want to let you guys know about this because this is probably one of the bigger ones that we've had in recent times with the loading screens that we've been given throughout the comics and then through the teases that we've had even before the comics ended up starting coming out. So that said, I'd love to hear your feedback, your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Why do you guys think that Ultimus Richtofen 1.0 Richtofen is with the other three in the top left panel? Do you guys think that this takes place before Revelations, after whenever it may be? And what do you think this means for the future? Do you think this indicates another fracture, another universe, another dimension, or do you think it's something that could still be completely canon with what we know so far without expanding outwards too much or whatever it may be? Feel free to drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Want to let you guys know about this because this is probably going to be in the forefront of the zombies community and the discussion here in the next couple of days. So figured we'd start the discussion here up on the channel as well. So drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel as well, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Zombies, Zombies Chronicles, Black Ops 3, Multiplayer, Call of Duty World War 2, Multiplayer, and Zombies, Modern Warfare Remastered, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to share my conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, another way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Mazda Nicole Espresso. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace.